IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our first episode of season 24 of Braves Beat. I'm Sarah Banatsky. And I'm Hannah Pollock. Wow Hannah, this is our last semester as high schoolers. Can you believe it? No Sarah, I can't. Time has flown by and unfortunately I'm already experiencing extreme senioritis. Me too girl. Well, there's a lot of news to cover to start off this new season, so let's get on with it. January is the month of winter homecoming. On January 28th from 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., Indian Hill High School will be hosting its annual winter homecoming dance with the theme of Winter Wonderland. All students are encouraged to attend as it's going to be an unforgettable night. Link to buy tickets will be in the description. Indian Hills National Honor Society will be holding a fundraiser tomorrow from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Kenwood Chipotle next to Embers. A percentage of the profits made from each menu item will go towards supporting cancer-free kids when you let the cashier know that you are there for the fundraiser. It'll be the perfect time to get some extra guac since you know it's going to a good cause. Our new Braves Beat members, Ella Santati and Emily Eckert, had a chance to ask some students what they did over winter break. Let's check it out. Hey Braves, we're getting around and seeing how your guys' winter break was. Let's go. There you go. Lauren and Charlotte, how was your winter break? It was really fun. What was your favorite Christmas conversation at dinner? Um, probably, oh my god. How much I love my sister. Mia Fiore, Meets, how was your winter break? It was nice, got to spend some time with friends and family, enjoy the Christmas season. Yeah. Today we have a special birthday girl, Ashwini Krishna. Ashwini, how was your winter break? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. <laughs> I had so much fun. I relaxed, I hung out with my friends. It was such a good time. What was the latest you slept in? It was bad, it was like 10.30. Oh, naughty Ashwini. <laughs> Emily and Ella are such naturals in front of the camera. The week before Winter Homecoming is Spirit Week. For each day, participants will send a picture of them in their outfits to the student government Instagram. Each day, Miles Wilson, William Dalton, Tyler Heakin, and Joseph Kane will unanimously decide who has the best outfit following the daily theme, and that participant will be awarded a prize. We can't wait to see what all of you come up with. Let's now take it over to Braves Beat Prodigies, Miles and Nick, for this week's sports report. Thanks, Head and Sarah. I'm Miles. And I'm Nick. A lot happened over the break, so let's get into it. The boys traveled to Pensacola, Florida over the break and came back in his free Pensacola Beach Tournament champions. The boys take on Deer Park this Friday and St. X on Saturday at 7.30. Good luck, boys. Coach Hill did another interview with players C.J. Hayden and Noah Frazier. Roll the coach's corner. <laughs> Welcome Braves Nation. Another episode of um, the Coach's Corner with myself, Coach Ricardo Hill. Um, we just got back from a very successful trip in Florida. Um, today's guest, um, we have two guys that, that play really well down there. Two juniors, one, Noah Frazier, and the big fella, C.J. Hayden. So guys, we're here to um, enlighten our fans about you two all right let's start with um let's start with cj um tell us about um how was the trip in florida uh trip in florida was really fun we can we had a lot of good competition we competed well and we had a lot of good team bonding experiences good stuff what about you noah uh i agree with cj i felt like in the final game we got down and some stuff wasn't bouncing our way, but we fought back in the end. It was good to go 3-0 and and win it all. Yeah, it's good stuff. It, it was fun to fight that adversity and then fight through that adversity and come out on top. Um, that's a big um, step that we took as a, as a squad. Um, Noah, we'll start this one with you. Um, how do you think, um, tell me your feelings about our team so far this year. Uh, I feel great about our team. You know, we've had a couple of tough games at Madeira and at LaSalle, but we're sitting at 7-2, and two and we've got some big games coming up this weekend. We're at St. X, so that'll be a great test for us to see where we're at. Good stuff. What about you, CJ? Uh, I really like how our team's going. we constantly competing with each other, fighting for minutes, but it's, always, it's just a dogfight always. It's good stuff. We try to have our practices so competitive that the games are easy. Um, all right, we'll go back to CJ on this one. Um, tell us what your future plans are. Uh, hopefully go to college, maybe hopefully go to the next level. If 
we can get it there. But after that, just get a job and get going. Let's go. All right. Noah, what about yourself? Uh, hopefully go to college as well. Maybe see if I can play football somewhere small. But, yeah. All right. And both of these guys are, are multi-sport athletes um, and do well in, in everything that they do. Um, and academically as well, which is important. Um, Noah, tell Braves Nation something that um, will surprise them or they do not know about you. Uh, I love to go fishing. Ah, wow. Okay. Um, any favorite spot? Um, I like two houses down from my house. There's like two houses and the one behind it's got a pretty good pond. So they let me fish there in the summers and the spring. Do you ask or do you just go? Well, I have, I have permission now to go whenever <laughs> I want. So that means he just goes, everyone. Yeah. All right. CJ, what about you? Uh, I mean, I love Chipotle, I guess. Yeah, favorite, favorite spot for food. Ah, Chipotle. Yeah. Okay. It's good stuff. All right, Braves Nation, you have it. From these guys, you got to come support us. Um, on three, fellas, we're going to go. Go Braves. I'll count. One, two, three. Go, go Braves. Braves. Thanks for the insight, Coach Hale. Over the break, the girls had back-to-back -back wins against Deer Park and Roger Bacon, putting them above 500 on the season. Way to go, Lady Braves. The Aqua Braves squad traveled to Mason last week to take on the D1 powerhouse, as well as CHL rival Madeira in a tri-meet. Our girls diving had three top five finishes. We had some impressive swims and held our own. Our group was small but mighty and gave an effort of which we can be proud. Meanwhile, Gibson Holmes and Jason Zhao were in Greensboro, North Carolina, competing at the Junior National Championships. Both represented IH very well, continuing to improve their already impressive times, proving once again that they are both among the best in the country. The girls' bowling team has been working hard and is ready for the season and got their first win against Northwest. Way to go, ladies. Over the break, our boys' bowling team suffered a tough loss to Wyoming. But here's a clip of two of our bowling braves having a nice trick play at their last match. Our Indian Hill cheerleaders finished third at the OHSAA Cheer Championship at Wittenberg University. Congrats, cheerleaders. Well, that's all we have for sports this week. Let's set it back to the news desk. Thanks, Miles and Nick. Sarah, will I see you at the boys' basketball game tonight? You sure will. Help the Braves Beat team improve this week's episode by scanning the QR code on screen and filling out the Google form. Your feedback will help Braves Beat have its best season yet. Wow, Hannah, that was a nice and quick episode to kick off season 24 of Braves Beat. I agree, Sarah. I'm sure looking forward to spending another semester of this class with you. Oh, Hannah, you're too sweet. Well, that's all, folks. So be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. What do you think my height is? 5'8". <laughs> what do you think my height is? Uh, five six. No, it's not five six. What do you think my height is? Five eight. <gasps> what do you think my height is? Five seven. <sighs> <laughs> what do you think my height is? Your height? Yes. I would say like five foot six. <laughs> but what do you think my height is? I want to say like maybe like five foot seven. Oh. So what do you think my height is? Probably like five six. I think. No, I'm, I'm it's not. not.